one of the things that uh, kind of locks into your brain when you're out of college or school or you're beginning your career or you're doing art in the weekends and wondering, how much am I going to charge for this? Well, I can tell you, when I started out, I did portraits in bars for 50 cents a piece. Then I upped it 100, I upped it 100%. I then started charging a dollar a piece, thinking, oh my God, who's going to buy these things? At a buck? Then I upped it to five dollars. And very slowly I went up. You can't go down in art, you have to go up. And if you charge a penny, that's an exaggeration. But what you charge is a, a very difficult area and that's why I, throughout my career, I got smart and, uh, or smarter, and started having my dealers, because the dealer knows the public, they know what your art will sell for, uh, you have a choice of having your sit around and you have a big price on it thinking, wow, my stuff is worth $10,000. Well, okay, that's nice. But if you're, as I was, I had to make a living. I had to pay rent or for first, well, rent 50 bucks, 50 bucks a month and food and so on. And the thing is that you start off in a rather figuratively speaking, humble way as far as prices. So pricing is, let's put it very simply, have a dealer tell you, and the dealer will say, look, let's start off with such and such. And the dealer can sense with people coming in saying, hey, God, whose is that? And the dealer can sense where you can go with it. If nobody comes up to your painting and is interested in it, don't worry about it because you're, at, I have seen every style type of artist throughout my life and just have a lot of guts and hope and know that those paintings of yours, whatever they are, and let me tell you, this world is full of everything you can think of. Scribbles are selling for millions um, and people that do very high definition, you know, every detail throughout the painting, that's fine. Every type of art has somebody out there wanting to buy it. So just know that. And I went through many galleries at first. The very first one I did char charged, well, we get into that sometime, but my first dealer was a janitor who had a janitorial service and he had a big empty, it was in the main, Avenue and he had big empty walls and a front window with nothing in it. And I was in a stupor and fell into the door of the place. And uh, he looked at me and I said, uh, where am I? What? And so all of a sudden I have one little inkling of hope in my head that maybe he could put my paintings on his wall. And that was my, and we got into it. There's, it's a fun story. It's a, but he took 50%. I was charging, I think it was 30, $37.50 or something like that, some ridiculous price. I bought the frame for two bucks and glass, and but he was selling the paintings. And, uh, and then I went to another, then finally I evolved, as they do, we say, into another gallery, and he charged 125 a piece. And then that kind of petered out after a while. And there was a dealer in town that saw my stuff and said, look at your works are worth $350. And he said, I'll take one third and that's it. And by God, I went there and the first show was a sellout. Uh, I've had no, just so you know, I've had shows where I sold one or two paintings, never, is anybody ever a guarantee in sales, in art. But the beautiful thing about art is, it's not like in acting or in the film business where there's one star and so on. In art, there's thousands of stars and maybe millions. And I have to this much to say, I think I'm a good example that you can make it uh, because I went through every bit of, uh, craziness and every loophole and uh, everything that can happen to an artist uh, 
let's say 90% happened with me. And, uh, and you just make it because you have one plan, a life of art. And that, even if you have a job or doing a job, eventually, eventually it's going to work. I promise you, you heard it from me, I promise you, but you only, you have to keep your obsession and your passion going and, and never let it up. I'm telling you, don't let it go. Okay.